Hello and welcome to this week of prayer that we're holding for God's mission and our part in it. As life starts to slowly get back to normal, we want to be asking God, what does he want of us individually, but also as a church family? How is God wanting us to live? How is he wanting us to serve him in our daily lives? And we're going to begin today by reflecting on the great commandments. Um, Jesus is asked uh, by an expert in the, in the law, what is the greatest commandment? And in Matthew 22, this is Jesus's reply. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. So loving God is absolutely at the heart of what it means to be a Christian. But what does it mean to love God? What does it look like to love God? How do we grow in that love for God? Well, I think it's really important to recognise that we love because God first loved us. It says that in 1 John. Um, our love for God comes from God's love for us. And so it's really important that we are people who are rooted in God's love, who are secure in his love. So many of the things that we struggle with emotionally uh, and spiritually, so many of the sins that hold us captive, they come because we don't realise that we are loved by God. You know, we spend so much time, don't we, looking for other people's love, looking for validation, looking for approval. And at the end of the day, we're never going to find that in other people. You know, other people's approval of us will always be um, variable. People won't always agree with us. You know, it doesn't get us into a good place if we're always just longing for affirmation. Instead, we need to come to our loving father and know how much he loves us. And we see his love for us most beautifully and profoundly of all in his son, Jesus Christ, in the way Jesus lays down his life for us on the cross. So I want to encourage you today to spend some time just soaking in the love of God, just knowing that you are held, that you are precious, that you matter to God. And he doesn't just want to spend this life with you. He wants to spend eternity with you. God loves you. We love because God first loved us. The second point that I want to make today is that we see what true love looks like in Jesus. We see what it is to love with all of our heart, soul, mind and strength in Jesus. You know, as Jesus hung on that cross, he loved us with all of his heart, with all of his mind, with all of his soul, with all of his strength. He gave up everything for us. There's a risk, isn't there, that we think of love as being a sort of airy fairy feeling, the sort of feeling we get when we first fall in love with somebody. But when it comes to God, um, we're not supposed to have an airy fairy feeling, just as, you know, that feeling of falling in love doesn't sustain a marriage over many decades. Our love has got to be deeper. Our love has got to be practical. Our love has got to be sacrificial. And so I want to ask you, are you prepared to lay down your life for Jesus? Jesus says, doesn't he, if we're not prepared to take up our crosses and follow him, we're not worthy of being his disciple. And what I think Jesus might mean by that is that we've got to love him with that same love that he loves us. Being prepared to give our all. Are we prepared to do that? Are you prepared to do that? in your daily life, to live not for yourself and your own comfort, to live not just for the here and now, but to live for God, to live for Jesus, to live for the Holy Spirit who comes to dwell in you. Let's pray. Father, you know our hearts better than we know them ourselves and you know, Lord, that we want to love you, but sometimes we struggle to love you. We struggle to give you our all, to love you as Jesus has loved us in laying down his life for us. Help us today, Lord, stir up a fresh love in our hearts. Remind us of who you are and what you've done for us and help us to reciprocate. Help us to love you by picking up our crosses and following Jesus, by sacrificing our daily lives to you and to your mission and to your purposes and to your kingdom. Help us not just to live for ourselves and our own earthly kingdoms and our own comfort, 
but to give our all. Because you are worthy of every breath. You are worthy of every word. You are worthy of every moment. Come and meet with each one of us now, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.